friends! I'm finally getting around to my PMX video! It's only like a month late? Pacific Media Expo, or PMX, is a convention that takes place at the LAX Hilton every year, sometime in November. The con is pretty small itself, but it's dense with so much stuff, and fashion is a huge part of PMX. There's usually one Lolita brand that's the headliner guest, and then others that come along too, and they all set up shops in the meeting rooms. This year, Innocent World was the guest of honor, and I've wanted something Innocent World for so long. So the first thing I did when I got there is I ran upstairs and I found their pop-up shop and I bought this dress that I'm wearing. I was lucky to get it because they didn't bring that much stuff with them. They had probably one of each piece and colorway. The designer of Innocent World made appearances in the shop, and that's how I got to see her. But she also had a fancy dinner and a tea party. I didn't think to register for either of those at the time because I didn't own anything Innocent World. But I kind of wish I had. Baby the Stars Shine Bright and Alice and the Pirates in San Francisco also came to PMX and they had a pop-up shop as well. They brought so much stuff! It was all really tempting but I'd only budgeted myself for this one piece so maybe I'll save up more next year. Xenon, a Visual K brand, was also there. If you didn't get a chance to go to PMX, they have a shop located across from Fairytale Boutique in Little Tokyo. Miss Harajuku is a consignment shop from Northern California and they brought a lot of stuff to PMX too. I think they probably had the most and they had a huge range of styles since it's a consignment shop and it's all different pieces. They have an online shop and they also buy, repair, and sell dresses and all sorts of different pieces. So definitely check them out, I'll put the link somewhere. Leaf, a Korean brand, was also there. I like to own more Leaf dresses. Right now I have Alice in the Mix Works, but they've recently come out with a lot more sweet pieces that fit more into my style. The other thing I really like about Leaf is that their dresses tend to be on the longer side. And lastly, Tuba's brand! My friend Tina, we call her Tuba, it's a long story. She's a FITM graduate and she just started her line March and Maiden, and I'm sorry if I said that wrong. Right now she's just selling headwear, but I think that she'd like to extend her brand and ha offer other pieces. You can commission her for things too. I sincerely wanted to buy a headpiece from her brand, and that was another thing that I had set aside a little bit of money for, but every time I went over to her stand, there was always a bunch of friends there and we just socialized, and I completely forgot, so... Tuba, take my money! I think I'm gonna commission her for something soon. All of these brands were also featured in a fashion show on Sunday, which I had to miss because of a concert. And I'm bummed because it's the first time in years that I've missed the PMX fashion show. But I'll tell you a little bit about why I missed it towards the end. Can't afford new brand, there was also a Lolita swap meet. Where Lolitas could sell off secondhand items, there was a lot of good deals and options for everyone. With so much Lolita shopping, so many Lolitas came. Everyone looked their best, and here's a couple coordinates I saw at PMX. wasn't all Lolita though. At times it felt like it was a Lolita con, but there was also a lot of cosplayers too. For such a small con, I feel that most of the attendees dress up in some way. I didn't check out any of the panels this year, but I did peek in on a room that was playing Yowashida bicycle anime, and I ducked out again because I'm really far behind and I didn't want any spoilers. Artist Alley was full of cute accessories and illustrations and so many things! One of our local Lolitas had a really cute shop with accessories you could wear with Lolita or just cute clothes. I met two wonderful punk rock Sailor Scouts who were selling cell phone cases and really cute accessories. The exhibit hall was packed with great stuff! As tempting as it was, I don't need any more alpacas. I'm good. There was a Super Sonico I really, really want, but again, I'd only budgeted myself for the dress. I was being responsible or whatever. There was loads and loads of cute figures and plushies and swords. Yep, even swords. 
Like I said, Pacific Media Expo isn't a huge con. You can probably see the entire exhibits in one day, but you stay to hang out because so many cool people come. It's nice to socialize with everyone and they have different meetups each day, and you can also get attacked by teletubbies? I wasn't able to attend the last day of PMX because I was getting some much needed rest and I had to get in line for perfume! If you don't know who perfume is, go open a new window and just YouTube like top 10 perfume songs and listen to them. They're a J-pop band, they've been around forever, I love them. They've never played in the United States before this point and they played a show in Los Angeles, which is the one that I went to, and then they played one in New York, and I'm not sure where else they went, but they're actually touring, and they're still doing stuff, and releasing a new album, and The concert was amazing. The effects were incredible. I couldn't bring in my camera, so I didn't get a lot of footage, but it was, it was well worth it. I think that about covers everything. PMX related, Pacific Media Expo. If you find yourself in LA next year around November, definitely check it out. I think it's worth it. I'm curious to see who the Lolita brand will be that visits next year. Who would you like it to be? If you could go to PMX or if you could go to a convention and have your favorite Lolita brand headlining there and selling stuff, what brand would it be? Let me know in the comments. And until next time, stay lovely!